exercise stuff isn't working. Why? I'm going to tell you on rest day. First thing, look here. One pound, we're doing the math today, 3,500 calories. So, today I weighed myself and I was so excited. 196.8, so I lost 0.2 pounds in neck sweating exercise. How is that happening? Well, remember, 3,500 calories is one pound. Let's walk around and look at what I'm doing. First thing, over here, when I'm doing the elliptical, 20 minutes, 200 calories. So if I was just doing the elliptical, one pound is 5.83 hours of elliptical. You think we're gonna lose weight just doing elliptical? Coming over to the spin bike. We love spinning, it's a fad. Everybody loves it. Look at the calories. 20 minutes is only 100 calories. One pound equals 11.66 hours of spinning. Now, yes, people, I know, it depends on your body size. It depends on your effort, your resistance, many factors. These are average numbers. Next, let's go to my favorite, the rowing machine. Thank God, it is my favorite. 20 minutes actually equals 300 calories. I think I'm doing more than that. We'll see. I'm going to start paying more attention to up here. Each of your machines probably has one of these. We're gonna look at those readouts on the calories, and then I want you people to make these charts for your machines and fill in actual numbers so that you have an idea how many calories you're burning. But at least with the rowing machine, one pound is four hours, 3.89 of rowing. But I'm still not gonna row for four hours. So since today is a math day, I'm gonna be referring to my cell phone a little bit. So when you take into account Thrilling Thursdays, which I'm going to average something around like 200 calories because they're weird exercises you can't really, you know, determine. That means across a week, I'm burning an extra 1,100 calories. Well, remember people, back here, 3,500 calories is a pound. If I'm only burning an extra 1,100, that's going to take me three weeks of exercising in order to drop a pound. So, I'm getting pissed this exercise thing isn't working. We have to take our diet and continue to increase it. Why? Let's look at some numbers. Here, we have soda, 250 calories. So one pound is 14 sodas. Now, we're gonna rotate around here, a candy bar. They're usually 200 plus calories. So one pound, 18 candy bars. And you might think, wow, 18 candy bars, That's that's a ton. They add up quickly. A 200 pound, it's not 200 pound, 200 calorie candy bar negates an entire exercise on the elliptical. Yes, we're still getting our heart rate up. We're still getting our inner health, but we're not losing weight. So you have to be realistic, people. If you're losing weight, we have to change our exercise to higher levels with tweaking our food. Let's look at the worst thing I, that I eat personally, the Whopper meal. And this is a small Whopper meal. We looked it up a couple episodes ago, 1,100 calories. That means I gain one pound every 3.18 Whopper meals. Three Whopper meals, I gain a pound. So, what do we need to do? You need to find yourself a calorie calculator, put in your weight, height, age, all of that stuff, determine how many calories you need to eat, and now you're supposed to, I'm not asking you to count calories, but get an idea of how many you're supposed to be eating, because I think if you have some of these numbers, general awareness, you're going to be able to up your game, and when you see that calorie, high calorie item, you're going to be like, whoa, the exercise you're doing, find out the numbers, that's 150 calories, and that extra thing I'm eating today is 400 calories. That's going to negate three days of exercise, of weight loss. And that's what I don't want to get too passionate and confused about. When we're exercising, this bad food is negating the weight loss, but we're still making our heart stronger. We're still making our muscles stronger, and that's helping us live longer and be happier and healthier so that we can do more things when we're on vacation. But Please, please stop listening to those crap exercise programs 
10 minutes will change your life. No, when we were doing 10 minutes, that was because we were going from five minutes of exercise up to the 20 minutes of life-changing exercise. You have to do, though, exercise and food. Why? Because if we just create the deficit, if we only create, well, I'm going to eat. If you have to eat 500 less calories a day across seven days to get that 3,500 calories to drop one pound a week, if you don't exercise, your body, the energy level will lower. Your body will conserve and change and you won't lose the weight by simply creating a deficit. You have to create the deficit with the calories, the food, plus burn them. It's a relationship for it to work. Oh. So what's the exercise tweak? This next week we're adding two and a half more minutes. What's the food tweak? This isn't a fad diet. Don't think it is. I want you to have fruit before dinner. So, most fruits, the common ones that are around 100 calories, you have apples, bananas, grapefruit. If you want stuff, and the purpose is to fill yourself up with low calorie stuff so you have less time to eat the higher calorie items. And if you want the lower calorie ones, less than 100, you can go with oranges, peaches. If you want the super low calories, you get the finger foods, grapes and strawberries. They're only three calories each. And you might say, but they're finger foods. I'm going to be like, yum, 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 yum. Just think, if you eat 30 strawberries, that's a lot. That's 90 calories. You really think you're going to eat 30 strawberries before dinner? As long as you're not dipping them in sugar and dipping in whipped cream, you're going to be fine. So people, let's try and eat some fruit before dinner each night this coming week. And that'll help fill us up and consume less calories. So we're going to be creating that deficit of calories and exercising. And I'm hoping that's going to supercharge our weight loss. But if you're not concerned about weight loss, just Keep up with the exercise because that's changing and making our heart stronger, our muscles stronger, and we will be healthier, happier people. This is Jeff for Fitness for Health and Happiness. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you as a viewer. Please subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.